What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my review of the Motorola Moto G Power 5G 2023. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the Moto G Power 5G 2023 is one of the latest affordable 5G smartphones from Motorola. Now this device is the successor to last year's Moto G Power 2022, but this time around we're gaining a lot of different features including 5G connectivity. So in this video I'm looking forward to showing you everything that there is to know about this device. Now starting off with the price of the phone. Now this device features an MSRP of $299 for the factory unlocked model of it. And I'm sure as time goes on, pricing will most likely change. So certainly take a look at the various links in the video description to see what the most up-to-date pricing is. But overall, this phone is meant to be more of an entry-level option. Now also, as time goes on, I'm expecting this phone to make its way over to a variety of different carriers. And typically at the carriers, you can save a lot of money versus buying the phone factory unlocked. Of course, the catch with that is, you'll then have to use the phone with that particular carrier, but most people don't tend to switch their carrier up too often. And one other thing I want to point out too is, when this phone does make its way over to the carriers, it is likely that we might see some slightly different specifications. For example, the unlocked model of this phone features 256 gigs of storage, but I'm guessing that when this phone's on the carriers, there probably will be a lower storage configuration available. But before we get too far into things here with the G-Power 5G 2023, Let's see what all comes included in the box. So here's the box, you can see right there the name of the phone. Then on the side of the box it says plastic free packaging, which is pretty awesome. Now in addition to the phone itself, we're getting a SIM card removal tool. We're also getting some literature here, such as this quick start guide. There's also a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. And we're also getting a 10 watt USB wall adapter. Now the Moto G Power 5G 2023 features a very large 6.5 inch display. Now this display is IPS LCD and it does feature a 120 hertz refresh rate. So that's very impressive having that very fast refresh rate. Basically the display is going to run a lot smoother and overall this phone is going to feel a lot more premium than it even is. I remember it wasn't too long ago that having a 120 hertz refresh rate was something that you'd only find on very expensive smartphones. And typically smartphones that were well over a thousand dollars. So it is cool to see that for a phone at the fraction of that price, we're now getting that feature. Now to make things even better, we're getting a 1080p display here with the phone, we're getting a PPI 405, we're getting a 20 by 9 aspect ratio, and we're getting an 83.6% screen to body ratio. So pretty small bezels all throughout, with the bottom bezel being a little bit thicker. But this display really is fantastic. It could be better, of course, if it was OLED, for example. But for what it is, and for the segment that this phone is in, this display is really awesome. So it's going to be excellent for watching video content, going on social media. All of that's going to provide a very immersive experience on a very large canvas. Now, this device does feature a hole punch for the front-facing camera, and that front camera is 16 megapixels. Now, stay tuned for later on in this video, as we'll be showing you a variety of different photo and video samples from all the various cameras here on the phone. Now internally, with this device, we're getting 256 gigabytes of storage along with micro SD card expansion. So that's a lot of storage. That's very impressive and I feel like that's plenty if not way too much based on most people's needs. But that's a really good thing because you won't have to worry about the phone filling up. But then, to make things even better, you can add in a micro SD card to offload photos and videos, for example. So if you're someone who likes to download a lot of videos under your phone and you like just have a lot of stuff on your local storage, then I think you're going to be very happy here with the Moto G Power 5G 2023. Now this phone does feature a fingerprint sensor on the power button, so we'll try that out right now. You can see it's very fast and responsive. We'll try that one more time. There we go, very quick. So that's great. And in addition to that, this phone does support face unlock. So I do appreciate that we have multiple methods here for accessing the phone. Now on the back side of the device, we are getting a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a two megapixel depth sensing camera to assist with portrait mode, and a two megapixel macro camera for close up images. So we are getting portrait mode with both the rear and front cameras on this device. So if you're a big fan of getting those nice blurred out backgrounds, then I think you're definitely gonna like this phone. Now, in addition to that, 
This device does support 1080p video recording for the front and rear cameras as well, so you will be able to capture really crisp and clear video and then view it back on this 1080p display. Now, it would have been nice if the phone did have 4K video recording, as most people do have 4K TVs at this point, but I suppose we just have to be happy with what we're getting. Now, this is how things look on the camera app on the device with the main rear camera. Then from there, we can switch over to the macro camera to get very close up and have things be in really good detail. We can also go to portrait mode to get those nice blurred out backgrounds. And there's even the ability to adjust the amount of blur. So if you want less blur, you can do that or more blur. You can also make that adjustment. Then flipping around to the front facing camera, you can do the same thing. So portrait mode here, but then also you can take group selfies. So it crops out a little bit. And also you can take, of course, standard selfies as well. So I really appreciate that we're getting a lot of different camera abilities here with this device. And then one other thing I want to mention is that even though this phone does feature a 50 megapixel camera, it doesn't actually take photos in 50 megapixels by default. Instead, you're gonna have to go over to the more tab here, then go to 50 ultra res to take photos in 50 megapixels. Now, the reason why this is not the default mode is because 50 megapixel photos take up way more space on this device or any device for that matter. And they feel that most people aren't really looking to have photos in that megapixel count. But if you are one of those people, then just know that you can go here to access that feature. Now, overall, I'll let the quality speak for itself, but I've been very impressed with the photo and video quality from this device. The images are super clear, we're getting great colors too, and in situations where there's some shadows and also bright areas, it does a really good job at balancing those out. So, overall, I can't think of really any way that the cameras can be better here. Now, of course, compared to a smartphone that's maybe $1,000, for example, the cameras here are not nearly as good. But on the other hand, for a phone in this segment, it really takes some of the best looking photos and videos for that matter that I've seen on pretty much any device. So certainly if you're a little bit concerned that the cameras might not be great here on this phone, you certainly should not be. But let's now take a look at some video samples from the Moto G Power 5G 2023. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here coming at you with a 1080p front facing test video from the Motorola Moto G Power 5G 2023. I'm definitely really curious to know what you think about the video and audio quality. And here's a macro video from the Motorola Moto G Power 5G 2023. So you can get very close up here with this camera and take video in really good detail. So pretty cool. And here's a 1080p test video using the main rear camera on the Motorola Moto G Power 5G 2023. We have very fast autofocus in video mode, which is great. Now with this device, we're getting six gigabytes of RAM paired up with the MediaTek Dimensity 930 processor. Now there's a lot of benefits with that processor and the amount of RAM that we're getting, but specific to the processor, I do appreciate that we are of course getting 5G support here with the phone, hence the name of the device itself. Now at this point in 2023, I do think you can get by without 5G. However, if you're gonna go through all the time and effort of getting a brand new smartphone, I feel like you may as well get one that does support your carrier's latest and greatest network. So just know that you're getting that here with this phone. And as far as the performance of the processor goes, beyond just the connectivity to 5G, it is a very fast device for a phone in this more budget segment. So everything runs very smoothly. Of course, we are getting that 120 hertz refresh rate display, which just based on that alone, it does make the phone especially feel fast. But even beyond that, the phone does a great job with phone calls, text messages, watching video content, social media. It's plenty fast for all those things. I think really it's just situations where you're doing more higher demanding tasks, maybe more high performance gaming or multitasking and doing video editing on your phone, which most people don't really do as much. But for those things, you might notice some slowdowns. And also, if you're using this as your work phone, maybe you're constantly on your phone, then you might notice some frustrations. But beyond that, this phone does run really smoothly and I think for most people, it will be adequate. Now, I did run a benchmark test with this device using Geekbench 6, and here are the scores that I got from that test. Basically, I got a single core score of 902 and a multi-core score of 2261. 
So what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of how the G Power 5G 2023 compares. Because who knows, this phone could be slower than what you currently have. Now with this phone, we're getting a very large 5,000 mAh internal battery combined with 15 watt fast charging. Now keep in mind though, the charger included in the box is only 10 watts. So if you do want to recharge the phone at the fastest rate possible, you will have to use a different charger. However, the battery in this phone, since it is so large, it'll definitely provide you with at least a full day, if not multiple days of usage. So that's fantastic. So if you are someone who's looking to finally get a smartphone with good battery life and everything related to that, then just know that with the G Power 5G 2023, you'll probably be getting a pretty solid upgrade here. Now the software with this phone is Android 13 and it does feature some tweaks from Motorola. So what I like though is that Motorola basically gives us the best of stock Android, but then they add in their own bonus features. And many of those features are very intuitive and make a lot of sense and doesn't really feel like they just are tacking on their own features on top of Android. The features they add in genuinely feel like they're built into the operating system further than just them making some modifications. So I'm really happy with it and based on the experience with this phone and also other phones from Motorola, their software is typically free of bugs as well. So in general, I can't ask for the software to really be any better. Now I have also created a dedicated tips and tricks video about this device here on the channel. So definitely take a look at that to learn even more. Now one really disappointing thing with this phone though is that there is no NFC. And for me at least, that pretty much is a deal breaker. Now if you're not familiar with NFC, that's the technology used for tap and pay to make mobile contactless payments using services such as Google Pay, for example. And that's been a really big thing, especially over the last several years. So it's very disappointing to see we're not getting that here with the G Power 5G 2023. Now, if you're someone who typically doesn't use that, maybe your current phone doesn't have NFC, or even if it does have it and you don't find yourself using your phone to make payments, then I suppose it's not a big deal, but just know that it's not here. Now, on a more positive note, with this phone, we are getting stereo speakers, which is a really nice surprise to see. You typically don't find stereo speakers with phones in the segment, so basically with that, you're getting audio out of both the main speaker on the bottom, but then also the earpiece, giving you a very immersive audio listening experience. And it truly does actually make a difference. So when you're listening to audio, whether that's from music or watching a video, for example, it's very loud and also very clear. So this is really the ideal phone for sitting back, relaxing, and consuming content. This phone does feature 5G connectivity. Now in the past, that's a feature that you wouldn't really find that often with lower end. So this phone really does have some of the best speakers on any phone that I've used in this segment. I'm really impressed with that. So certainly a very worthwhile upgrade if maybe your current phone doesn't have the best speakers and you want something better. So definitely worth considering there. And then combining that with this excellent looking 1080p display really gives you a great video viewing experience with this phone. But taking a closer look at the hardware of this device, I already talked quite a bit about the front panel here. We're getting that hole punch for the front facing camera. We're getting that 1080p display and then a little bit of a bezel here on the bottom. But on the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side, we have volume up, volume down, and also the fingerprint sensor, which doubles as the power button. Then up top here, we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom of the device, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and we have the speaker. Then on the back of the phone, we have the camera module with the flash, and then the Motorola logo, and that's pretty much it. And I'm a big fan of this material on the back of the phone. It's kind of a frosted finish, and I really like how it doesn't pick up too many fingerprints at all. Now, despite this phone being made completely of plastic, besides the display, which is glass, the device itself does feel of high quality and really feels a lot more premium than really it technically is. So overall, I think Motorola did a great job with the build quality and fit and finish of the Moto G Power 5G 2023. But this concludes my review of the Moto G Power 5G 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. But most importantly, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this device. Do you think it's worth getting? Do you think it's a good value? Or do you feel like there's better options out there? Certainly let me know as I'm very curious. But I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Take care.